and welcome to a new video. So we finished the previous video by noticing that if we move the bang object on the left or on the right of this integer number box, then we obtain a different behavior, which is indeed pretty suspicious. So the strange behavior was that if I change the number in the cold inlet with the bang object on the right of the integer number box, we see that the result of the operation is actually wrong. It's not giving us the current result. It's actually giving us the result of the sum between the number that was previously stored plus the number that is stored in the hot inlet. So why is that so? Well, we said in the second video of this section that the order of operation in Max is from top to bottom. So from outlet to inlet. We saw, for example, with these integer number boxes here that whenever we change a number in this chain of integer number boxes, then we update all the numbers that are below that object and are connected to its outlet. Well, there is also another order of operation in Max, and this is from right to left. So let's write this down. The order of operation in Max is from right to left. So in case we have a single cable connected to the outlet of an object, then the order is simply going to be top to bottom. But in case we have two objects, um, it has to know in which cable the number goes first. And the order is always like this. The number will go to the inlet that is the rightmost one of the inlets to which the object is connected. So in this case, for example, the inlet of the plus operator is the rightmost one because the inlet of the bang object is, uh, is on the left of this called inlet. And in case we put the bang object on the right of this called inlet, then the number that goes out of the integer number box is first going to go into the bang object and then it's going to go into the called inlet. So what happens? First, when we input a new number, the number is going to flow inside the bang object from the bang object is going to flow into the hot inlet, then triggering the operation, but summing it with the number that was previously stored in a called inlet. So in the variable b inside the plus operator. And in this case, for example, let's say that we have 7 and 10. Now, if we input here 20, what do you think is going to happen? It gave us 17 because 10 was previously stored inside the called inlet of the plus operator. And then, so when we input a 20 here, the number is first going to go into the bang object, which is going to trigger the operation, which is 7 plus 10, and then the 20 flows inside the called inlet. But the operation has already happened. So now in case we will input uh, 4, for example, we will have 7 plus 20, because inside the called inlet was stored at 20. And then the, the, the flow goes like this, the 4 first goes in the, in the bang object, and then it goes into the called inlet of the plus operator. So this is something to keep in mind. The order of operation in Max is always from right to left. And this is valid for all the objects. All the objects behave in the same way. Now, uh, just to prove you that this is actually true, we can do something like that. We can create the multiple print objects and give to all of them a name. For example, we will call this A, we will call this B, we will call this C, so I'm simply setting a name as an argument to those objects. Now, we really didn't talk about arguments for objects yet, but the thing is that some objects accept some variables inside the object rectangle, and these variables are going to set some internal properties of, those, of these objects. And um, not all objects have arguments, only some of them, but we are going to see all this stuff in detail in future videos. So for the moment, it's just enough to know that whenever we send something to a print object that has a name, then the name is going to appear in the Max console here. So it says, A, it's printing, bang. Now, if we connect this bang to all these three print objects, Let's actually clear the console and let's try again. Now we can see that it's printing first a C, then B, then A. If we scramble those objects, if we if we change the order in which they are uh, in which they are placed inside the patch, you can see that now the order in which the bank symbol is printed is changed. So now we have first B, then C, then A. Cool. So basically, this means that the the flow 
of the data goes first to the rightmost object or the rightmost inlet and then it follows on the subsequent inlets going from right to left. Now I have created a little arrow object, uh, don't worry about it. It's called the live.line object, but it's just a graphical object that serves us to create lines in our patch. And I'm using it just to show you graphically that the data flow goes from right to left. So this was it for this lesson. We are going to use this concept in all our patches because it's kind of fundamental into, into max patching. So you don't have to strictly memorize it at a certain point. It will just become a second nature. You will just know that messages flow from right to left as you know that gravity pulls stuff down. So well done so far. We are progressing in our max journey and see you in the next lesson.